Okay, welcome, welcome. Um, my goals for today are to give you a, a little bit of background on, um, uh, in no particular order, I should say, a little bit of background on, uh, on myself as the productivity coach at, uh, for Candace Story, who is our other productivity coach. Um, I'd love to get an, uh, a chance to hear your stories, uh, to hear a little bit about, you know, why you chose real estate and or in your uh, specific situation, Stephen, just kind of where, where you are and uh, where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And um, our goal for today is to make number one, to make sure that we know who you are and a little bit about you and kind of what, you know, what success looks like to you, what drives you. Um, and I also want you guys to learn a little bit more about the productivity coaching program because ultimately uh, we believe that that could be a great partnership for you so that you can get to where you wanna be uh, faster and uh, so that we can expand your thinking and help you build a, um, a, a business that gets you to exactly to where you wanna be and it causes you to think like a leader and uh, expand kind of your, your, your leadership and uh, take your business to the next level, okay? Okay, perfect. Uh, Candace, do you want to introduce yourself first? I do. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Candace Story. A um, little bit about me is I have uh, 21 years of real estate experience. I've been all over the real estate world. Um, I specialized in, I built a team uh, to the top 10 at this office 17 and a half years ago. And then um, I left to go on site to pursue one of my passions, which is new construction. I worked in an active adult community where we just nailed it, sometimes three and four contracts a day, and there were four of us. Um, then I was on site in other communities, uh, recruited as an active adult specialist. And then, um, so I stayed on site for a number of years. Then I ventured back into general real estate and uh, came back to Keller Williams in January of this year. And just absolutely can tell you that the best agent I've ever been has been when I was with Keller Williams. And the reason why is because of all the training that we have and the standards of the other agents. And it's almost kind of like if you uh, if you do a transaction with another KW agent, you just breathe a sigh of relief because you know it's probably gonna go well. Um, I, so I have, um, I guess that's pretty much my work history. I'm happily married for 22 years this year and I have an office right next to the training room. So come see me. All right, perfect. Uh, so I'll, I'll quickly give my my story, and then you guys uh, have an extra moment to uh, prepare to share yours, if that's cool. Um, I my name is Bill Linkwald. I've been the productivity coach here at Roswell for a little over a year and a half. Uh, we started this program from from basically no program um, uh, when we started about a week before COVID started last fall or last spring. So. Um, uh, you know, we have grown the program to just shy of 90 people. We have 89 people in the group right now. Um, I, uh, on a personal note, I've been in the business for about six, uh, 16 and a half years, been with Keller Williams a little over 10 years, was uh, a top producer with another firm first. And uh, I have a, a sales team here, um, have spent a considerable amount of time uh, working on uh, profit share and treating that like a business. Um, I was uh, fortunate enough to be asked to be the team leader about three years, a little over three years ago. I served in that role for about a year and a half. Um, and now I'm the productivity coach. I have a wife. Uh, her name is Rachel. We've been married a little over 13 years and two children, a, a daughter and a, a son, eight and five. So uh, that's what keeps me busy. And, um, you know, my goal is just to help make sure that you guys uh, build the businesses that you can be proud of. And in that moment, however long it was ago when you said, hey, I want to be a realtor. And I believe that through a, a career in real estate, I can achieve the um, financial security I want and I can have the quality of life that I want and I can have the impact that I want. Um, as we know, that doesn't always happen, but it's a, it's a commitment that you will make on a daily basis. And our job is to help uh, be a partner to you to make sure that that happens um, with a higher uh, degree of certainty, okay? So, uh, Stephen, you wanna go first? Sure. So, uh, my name is Stephen Reyes. I've been in real estate for three years now. Um, September, actually, will be three years exactly. Um, so, I've been in real estate ever since uh, high school. 
Uh, first started in 2018. I uh, took classes when I was literally 18 years old. So um, started that then. I've been to Inverosa ever since. Um, Keller Williams has been home for most of those three years. I was at a different firm for a, a brief period um, earlier this year. And um, back with KW, I'm now with the, the Roswell office, of course. And yeah, um, one thing about real estate that I do love is that it is a business and you get to treat it as such. Um, it's constantly growing. And that's one thing I love about, you know, uh, business, but also uh, real estate is that it's, it's growing, it's ever changing. Um, and yeah, just, that's just a little bit about me. Perfect. Can I ask you just a, a follow-up question or two? Sure. sure. So when you say I, it, it's fun because it, it is a business, what, what does that mean to you? Um, so I, I've always had a entrepreneurial uh, spirit. So in high school, especially, I took a lot of uh, business, but also marketing type classes. So I've always had that passion and that interest in both fields, you know, marketing, but also business. And, um, you know, the, the reason I say it's fun is because, you know, um, again, it's just a passion of mine, you know, business is just a passion of mine and, you know, it can, there's so many things you can do within business, you know, marketing, of course, so you get to help people, um, you get to grow, you know, yourself, but also, you know, a team of people under you. So those are just some things that I really like about the, uh, you know, the business side of real estate. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing, sir. Um, I'm actually going to ask one more question of you and, and Ayana is, it, um, is, is tied up so she probably won't be able to speak, but I'm waiting to see if she wants to me to share anything. Ayana, if you want to type anything here, I'd be more than happy to share it. Otherwise, um, we can get to know you a little bit later. But um, Stephen, tell me, and Glover, I'm going to ask you the same question. Um, tell me a little bit about what what is a successful year look like? Like if we were if we were sitting here a year from today, and we were high fiving that the year just went awesome, right? It could be a personally, professionally, or both financially. Um, Tell, tell me, tell me what you're thinking. What, what do you, what do you, what do you think about when you kind of evaluate what a successful year might look like? Um, so for me, you know, a successful, you know, year, um, I think the most basic thing that you can um, maybe start with is goals. And, you know, did you not only reach your goals, but did you crush your goals? You know, you know, um, I'm a big believer in, of course, setting goals, but then also, you know, excelling kind of over that to where it's like, okay, have you put out, you know, X amount of transactions, you know, to close in a year, but you went, you know, way beyond that. I mean, that, that's, that's success. That's like a huge, you know, win for, you know, that person in a year. So, you know, again, having goals and setting them, meeting them, but also in a way, you know, kind of crushing them and, you know, excelling over that, um, that to me is what success, you know, um, is. And also just, um, I guess the easiest way to say it's just, you know, accomplishing everything, that it is that you wanted to, you know, that year, um, business, of course, but also personally, maybe, you know, for some people, because I, I don't know about everyone here, but I am super passionate about fitness and health. So for some people it could be, you know, fitness goal, you know, maybe a weight goal or, um, you know, whatever that may look like, um, you know, just what, whatever you set up for yourself um, and just accomplishing that at a high level. That's what success to me is. Perfect. You, you touched on a concept, which I, I really like a lot, which is, um, you know, Gary Keller defines leadership in the following way. He says, leadership is helping people learn how to think so that they can get what they want when they want it. Right. And that's a lot of what we do. Right. I don't mean to uh, minimize the real estate training, but we could teach you how to sell homes in a couple of days. Right. The rest of everything you're going to experience is mindset, psychology, interacting with human beings, problem solving, creating efficiencies, building systems, that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? So right. um, a lot of the skills that you guys have developed in your in your current or previous work, uh, you're going to see that that um, you're going to you're going to use a lot of that skill in real estate. Right. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's just building rapport with people and taking them through the buyer process or through the seller process. And uh, one of the hardest parts of our job is finding the people, right? 
and then giving them the, the uh, experience that they are desiring or exceeding the experience that they were desiring. Cool, thank you for sharing, Stephen. Okay, Absolutely. Glover, tell us a little bit about yourself if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Um, my name is Glover Jackson. I've uh, just recently completed my uh, licensure. Um, actually, really, really recently, like I finished it up last week. <laughs> yep. So um, uh, I've been actually working in healthcare for the last 26 years. Um, my current profession is what they call a EI PACS admin, where I, you know, work with the uh, different departments to make sure they get all the imaging reports and things of that nature. So I'm currently in the healthcare industry and in the process of transitioning or incorporating um, real estate into my path and what I'm trying to do. Um, I was, I did do some real estate in the past. Um, it was going pretty well before the 2007, 2008 issue with yep. the market. <laughs> so I, remember you know, I had very well. Oh, definitely. I had uh, several properties that I was, um, you know, renting out and owning and I'm determined not to make the same mistake twice. So were, were you an agent back then or just, or an investor? I was not, I was just an investor. Okay. I was just an investor. But what I did realize in going the route that I'm going now by acquiring my licensing and uh, licensure and educating myself is that there are so many things that I could have done differently um, back then if I had only known um, what I know now in just a short period of time. <laughs> Give us so, the, uh, you got me curious now. Tell me what the biggest lesson you learned is. Maybe everyone can benefit from that. Oh my gosh, it's just um, when I was getting these loans and I wasn't paying attention to the, uh, the arm, the just for rate mortgage loans and not understanding that, yeah, it seems good in the beginning, but there's a price to pay in the end on the back end of that right there. So I, I wish I would have taken it slower for one thing. Um, I also got the mentorship and the advice from you know other people that have done what I've done, what I was trying to do, yeah. to guide me, so that I would have made not have made those mistakes right there. Um, but I don't have any regrets, which is why I'm back here now doing it again mm -hmm. um, on a different level. So for me, my goal, uh, what I think a good year would be, is to at least acquire one to two properties a year the right way. Um, that's not even incorporate the selling. I mean, if I sell one property a month, I'm fine. Uh, because for me, it's more learning uh, my new career path yeah. than the volume part of it. So I'm here to learn and to do it the right way. I don't have a, a mission to see how many houses I can sell. You know, of course, that's a goal. We ain't here to sell homes or commercial or whatever. But my objective is to, to get to the point where I'm uh, financially wealthy being for me working because I want to, not because I have to, that's my objective. That's my goal. That's awesome. why I'm here. Awesome. Thank you very much for sharing that. Um, Ayana, I, I wrote you a message privately, just seeing if there was anything you wanted me to share. If you, at any time, uh, you have a moment, just put it in there and we'll make sure everyone knows who you are. Um, okay, perfect. Thank you guys very much for sharing. I want to uh, just spend a few minutes kind of giving you an overview of the purpose of the Productivity Coaching Program, and then we'll get in the weeds and give you all the details of, you know, what a, a typical week looks like and what extra benefits you get and uh, all that kind of stuff, okay? So we wrote a mission uh, over a year ago, or basically right before the program started, um, and it was designed to, in, it was the, it was designed to be a, um, vague in certain ways and very detailed in certain ways. So here it is. It says, our mission is to create a community of learning-based and purpose-driven leaders focused together on accelerating the trajectory of our businesses and the quality of our lives. Using the powerful leverage of Keller Williams models, systems, and technology, we intend to create abundant lives for ourselves and for those we support, right? So in general, when people have this idea that they want to, you know, have use a career in real estate to achieve all their goals, right? 
sometimes it's a little foggy on how that's going to happen. Okay, um, we know that the um, they say eighty five percent of newly licensed agents will will not be in the business eighteen years later. Or I'm sorry, eighteen months later. Eighty five. Let me say it differently. Fifteen percent of newly licensed agents will still be in the business a year and a half later. Okay, so it's critical that not only do you part, partner with a great company, which you've already done, but that you soak up as much as you possibly can from your mentors and your coaches and your peers and start off the, the business correctly so that you can establish great habits. And for people like Steven that have been in the business for a while, you know, every time that your business grows, you just simply identify new things that you have to work on, right? So, you know, let, let me take, let me give you an example. You know, when Steven got into the business three years ago, he probably said, hey, how do I do a buyer brokerage? Or how do I fill out this contract? Or how do I search for these homes, right? And a couple of weeks later, you figured that out. And then you, then you had some new questions, right? And you figured those out. And then you identified some new struggles, right? That's going to be the case all the way until you're Gary Keller. Gary Keller's got coaches, okay? So we know that the, the people that are the at the height of their business, height of their career, right? The highest of all top producers, they have more accountability than those that just choose not to be excellent. Does that make sense? Okay, so we know that the business can be overwhelming, right? You guys are probably already starting to experience that, right? New tools, new resources, new scripts, new classes, you know, new technology, all that kind of stuff. Our primary job with uh, productivity coaching is to help you kind of clear the fog, right? Is to say, we believe that these are the things that you should be working on and in this order, and we want to partner with you and hold your hand as you navigate that process. For new agents, we have an eight-week training program. Okay, by the way, there's a difference between training and coaching, right? So Stephen, you probably don't need a ton of training, but that's a whole different discussion on whether you would benefit from coaching or not, right? So um, we have an eight-week program that basically walks you through um, what we believe to be the most important um, uh, modules or, or um, concepts so that you can build your business and start habits right off on the right foot, okay? Candice uh, runs that program. As soon as you join, you will um, uh, get on her schedule uh, to get to know you a little bit better, to help you as you're building some of your initial tools and business plan. And she will begin to work with you for 15 minutes once a week privately to make sure that you are um, uh, make, doing the right stuff in the right order and all your questions are addressed. Okay. So we help you navigate all the challenges that are popping up. We help you uh, establish the appropriate goals and uh, ultimately to make sure that you know that you don't have to do this by yourself. Right, you got a team of people around you, not only at the market center, um, but within the group as well. Okay, um, let me give you an idea of kind of a week at a glance. Okay, so each day from 8:30 to about 9:15 ish or so. Um, today we ran a little bit long till close to 9:30, but 8:30 uh, to about 9:15 we have a morning huddle. Each morning the huddle has a different topic. So tomorrow, for example, we're talking about the lifetime value of a, of a customer or client. Today, we went over um, uh, the final two weeks of the eight-week program since we just released that. So every, every day, every morning huddle has its own uh, topic, and we share those a week in advance. And agents can uh, hop on the call and get some training and get some motivation to start the day off right. Everything that we do is recorded, and it's uploaded to a, um, an exclusive private YouTube channel. Um, we have over 600 videos, so it's basically a training resource library. So if you have a question on contracts or pricing or negotiation or any technology or something like that, there's probably several training opportunities available for you um, that you can access at any time. Okay. We also have a Google, a private Google Drive, so you can access uh, all kinds of stuff from script books to marketing plans to checklists, calendars, all kinds of stuff, uh, course curriculums. Ignite all these kind of things uh, at your leisure again. So every day, 8:30 to about 9:15, we have a morning huddle. There is no, we don't, we're not taking a uh, role. There's no mandate that you come to every session or anything like that, right? We know other people. Some people have, uh, some people have jobs or other, you know, other parental um, responsibilities, whatever it is. 
we know that the people that engage the most generally have the most um, success, okay? Um, this is an accountability program. So I may not always say the things you want me to say, but I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear to grow your business. Is that, is that fair? Yes. Okay. Um, Candace, have, have I ever not been polite? You're always oh. polite. You're always polite and direct. And, and the, way that I, the way that I liken it is, um, is if you're at the gym and you, your, your trainer says, do 12, 12, more, 12 sets and you do your 12 sets, you're like, okay, I'm done. And the trainer says, no, you're not. You need to do, in order to get where you want to be, you need to do one more set of six. And you go, I can't. And your trainer says, you just do it. You're, you can do it. And then you do it. And you're like, wow, I could do that. So it, it's not always, um, most of the time it is comfortable, but it's not always comfortable, but it's always valuable. Right. If I know this is a little cliche, but if you have a, if you have a desire to have a certain amount of income, and, or to have a certain lifestyle or to achieve a certain uh, you know, level of success and you don't currently have that, then you're going to have to do things you're not currently doing, right? You may need to get more rest. You may need to wake up early. You may need to make more calls. You may need to do some activities you're not used to doing so that you can get a result that you're not used to having. Does that make sense? Okay, our job, by the way, is not to tell you whether your goals are high or low. It's to get very, very clear on what your goals are. Next, we ask you, you know, tell us about that. Why, why is that stuff important to you? Not so you have to defend it, but so that we can better understand what makes you tick, right? Um, we then show you the plan, right? Here, we're going to do this each day. We're going to do this each month, right? Each week. And once you execute on the plan, or as you're executing on the plan, we're right there shoulder to shoulder with you to make sure that um, as your mindset slips or as your energy slips or as your knowledge slips or you need some pointers, we're right there with you in addition to all of your peers to help you get to where you're going. Fair enough? Okay. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, uh, other sessions per week. Candace runs a dual career mastermind that is every Monday from 6.30 to 7.30. Anyone's, uh, you know, certainly invited, but it is catered primarily to the dual career um, agents. So that's Monday from 6.30 to 7.30. And we generally have uh, once a month, a couple of masterminds for each of the levels, like uh, uh, the launch group, which is about up to your third transaction or so, the growth group, which is up to your 12th transaction. And then we also have PC2, which is generally uh, 12 units per year Six for, typically six-figure earners. We have a couple of ALC members, Agent Leadership Council members in that group. You get all the benefits of um, being in productivity coaching, except for a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, private one-on-one -on -one time. And by the way, these agents are leaders, right? And they're, they're productive. And so they will oftentimes offer uh, shadowing opportunities for you know, open houses or appointments or closings or showings or you know, you can watch them do their calls or lead generator or whatever. So they have uh, uh, not only committed to the accountability with coaching, um, but they're also giving back. Um, so we, we really have uh, kind of taken our program to the next level once we offered that new kind of uh, opportunity for the, the higher producers, okay? Um, we typically have at least one pop-up class per week, whether it be a vision board class or a, a systems class or something like that. There's usually at least one pop-up class each week. We also have a, um, many of you know, we are part of the Georgia Legacy Group, um, which is the Roswell office, the Alpharetta office, and the Peach Corners office. There's a director of productivity and career development uh, there, and they have a few offerings each week that are available to not just the Roswell PC group, but the Alpharetta and Peach Corners group. Um, those are an advanced skill building class, uh, getting leads with social media, an assertive prospecting class, a uh, presentation role play class. So you can work on your buyer presentation, your seller presentation. Uh, I teach a systems class once a week, uh, building and refining your systems to create efficiencies and whatnot, a script class. And uh, starting in September, we're going to be going back to a tech and social media class. Any questions so far? Again, no mandate that you. Uh, attend any of this stuff. It's just there for you. Okay. 
A um, couple pieces of technology that we offer with no additional charge. As a matter of fact, you would have to go and pay for this on your own if you, if you desired it. One is a system called Coal Resource Realty. It's basically an, an online directory. So let's say you had an open house, you had a listing here and you wanted to contact, um, uh, you wanted to contact the, uh, the, the neighbors or the people that lived in the neighborhood up to 1500 names, we can send you that contact information so you can call them and you know let them know about the open house or let them know that the home is listed or just went under contract or something like that. Okay, so that information is typically about $1,200 per year. That is free with productivity coaching. We also have a service called um, uh, Vulcan 7. That is the premier resource for expired, for sale by owners and withdrawn listings. Uh, that updates every single day, and we have a shared account so agents that are in PC can access that information at no additional charge. That service is about $350 per month. So we have over $4,500 worth of uh, technology just baked into the program that you wouldn't have to pay for. Okay, any, any questions on that? And you won't forget Andrew. Oh, yeah. Uh, last week, thank you for reminding me. Last week, we entered into a, a partnership with a company called Piedmont Closing Company. This is uh, owned and run by an old uh, buddy of mine who ran a team here for or the administrative side of a team here for many years. Um, and we have, it, it is a uh, basically a contract to close company. So think of it as you're going to have a, there's a lot of administrative work that needs to happen in order to run a successful business, right? But when you're out there in the field working with buyers and sellers, the math would suggest you're probably earning a couple hundred dollars an hour, okay? A couple hundred dollars an hour. However, when you, when you change your focus and make a flyer or run a lockbox out or you know, create a, um, you know, a, an image for social media or something like that, you're basically the realtor's assistant at that moment. The realtor's assistant is more like $20 an hour. Makes sense? So there's no mandate that you in, uh, engage with this company. There's no exclusive or anything like that. Uh, but he has agreed to give us an exclusive price. Um, so in uh, the vast majority of his offerings or all of his offerings, there is a, a discount that is only available for um uh, agents within the Roswell Productivity Coaching Program. Okay. Um, okay. Hey, Jen. Are right, we going to have you introduce yourself here in just a, just a minute? Okay. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, how we are paid. You're probably curious about that, right? Oh. Hey, Ayana. Actually, why don't we take a two second break from the coaching program and while Jen and Ayana are on video, um, perhaps you could introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you got into real estate and what is, uh, let's say we were, we were sitting here one year from today, okay? And we were just high-fiving and celebrating and drinking champagne. And we were just so happy about our first year in real estate. Tell me a little bit about what we're celebrating. How, how do we measure success? Um, Ayana, why don't you go first? Hello, everybody on the call. And um, it sounds like I may be one of the least experienced persons here. Um, I recently got my license uh, in the last year, but I did place it on um, inactive status. Mm -hmm. Um, so your office bill is the first office that I'm signing with. I have absolutely no experience in real estate. Um, it's all new to me and it's a lot to soak in at once, as you would imagine. Um, but I'm excited about the prospect of not necessarily changing career. I have worked in um, banking and finance and the credit industry for the last roughly 15 years. Um, so a lot of the terms are not entirely new to me, but yes, real estate is new. And um, what prompted me to pursue my real estate license was obviously, as everyone can tell, I am 
relatively new to the US and um, you know, just the, the, the possibility of home ownership is all, always or most times um, a dream for most people. Yeah. So, you know, just with the little information that I was privy to, I found it to be, at least I thought, within, within most people's reach, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think often that a lot of people aren't aware of the programs that are available, especially for first time home buyers, because I myself was in the market at one point. Um, so I, I, I thought, why not help people achieve this dream, you know? Um, exactly. So that's what prompted me. And um, I've learned that it's not as easy as maybe opening a door <laughs> and showing a property. Um, but I'm excited to learn. And um, I'm sure that, you know, um, it will be challenging. I can already tell, I've, I've already heard that at least 20% of, or 80% of new agents don't make it past the first year. Um, I, I don't expect that I'll be in that 20% 20, 20 um, <laughs> percentage, but um, I know it's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the possibilities of impacting um, my neighborhoods, my community, and um, just happy to be here and have signed on with the Roswell office. Beautiful. Did you say Nicole? Do you do you go by Nicole? No, uh, Ayana. Okay, I, I thought yeah. you said for some. I, no. Sorry about that. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, Jen, can you uh, do you mind introducing yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry for the late. I mean, I got confused somehow. Like you know, one thirty. I was actually um, you know sitting on the check-in to um, computer. Like you know not make a mistake anything like and then checking the program things but you know i just realized like at 12 30 is the time <laughs> so, that's okay so we, we are recording this so i'll send you a copy of the video uh, a bit later so you can go back and watch the yeah uh, um yeah. so i mean um i can introduce myself like um i'm really totally new to um you know real estate market as an agent mm -hmm. um but you know i have a really um various background like you know i worked with the engineering company as a purchasing managers and um i was I actually i was working for the designer for the jewelry um so many different kind i mean so many different and, and then like you know, i work for the food industry like as inspector too so um my background is really um diverse and then um but you know i mean all my job required me actually travel a lot you know from my um town and then i i need to away like two months or the, sometimes one month and then it, it really hard and then um last year i purchased my house and then the pros process is very interesting too and then that was my dream to you know having house <laughs> so when i achieving it and then agent um you know how, who i work with not really helpful and then um not really knowledgeable um maybe she's very busy and then i actually you know um i realize i mean i'm the one only like really um, most interested in myself i mean my business anyway so um i researched the order i mean i love myself the, you know in the market and then i actually making the list and then i purchased house house locally and um i wanted to actually happy i mean that that point i i mean i think i realized uh, i wanted to helping the people and then make money and then make my schedule my own too and then i i know I can learn fast and then I can um, connect with people really nicely. And so I think it's it's very um, nice, like a career for me, less of my life. So um, I actually prepared the school, I mean, prepare the license while I'm working uh, with the, the other company. Then I got the license a couple of weeks ago. And then I heard about the um, KW a lot from the, my friends. So a really good thing about it. And then training program too. 
So um, B called me and then I joined. And um, I'm so, I think I'm really grateful for that. And then I, I'm really excited for um, joining um, KW. I love that. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, again, I, I think a lot of the, um, basically a lot of the skills that, again, that you've learned in your previous work is going to uh, transition really well to real estate. So uh, I, I think you're gonna realize, uh, Ayana too, this business is simple, it's just not easy. Right. <laughs> right, it's simple, it's just not easy. However, the hardest part is being diligent enough to, to do the same thing over and over again, mm -hmm. right? And like Gary Keller says, we have to get comfortable with the uh, monotony of success, mm -hmm. right? You just come in and do the same stuff over and over again. It might feel like it's over and over for you, but for each family that's been dreaming about home ownership or investing or building wealth or whatever, it's a it's the first time for them or it's new for them. Make sense? Yes. Cool. All right. Welcome, guys. Okay. So let's go back to um, the way that we are compensated. So it is different than your traditional uh, coaching. Okay. So think of it like a, uh, let's take a gym, for example. Okay. If I want to get personally trained at the gym, I have to approach a a trainer, they approach me and I pay for their time. So it would be, let's say $75 an hour and they spend an hour with me and then we part ways and I've paid the 75 bucks. Whether I get lose weight or get a six pack or whatever, that's on me. So it's not results-based payment. It is time-based payment. Y'all follow that? This is the exact opposite. Okay. So you come into the group uh, there is a, a, a contract involved. It is very simple and, and very short. It's basically explaining your expectations of me and vice versa, or me and Candace, or Candace and I, sorry, and um, uh, describes how the money works, okay? There is no short, there is uh, technically not an expiration date on the contract, and that is because it can be terminated at any point by either party, okay? So if you're not getting value, if you're not happy, if we're not getting along, then you can leave the program without any charge. There's no upfront fee or uh, ongoing fee other than when the deal is closed. So you're not paying for our time. You come into the group, you enjoy the, the peer group. Uh, we have a couple WhatsApp groups, health announcements and dual career. You take advantage of all the resources that we discuss, the daily meetings, the weekly huddles, uh, the dual, dual career mastermind, um, all the resources, the Google Drive, the YouTube uh, research library, all that stuff. And when you have a closing, then you pay uh, a 10% fee. So it's 10% of the gross commission income uh, paid when it is earned, okay? So if it takes you a couple months to, to get your feet wet and to get a sale, you don't pay for any of that. Make sense? We do cap the amount that you would pay each year uh, or each fiscal year, I should say, uh, at $10,000. So if you were to make, let's say, $60,000 in real estate gross, then coaching would cost you $6,000. If you were to make 100, coaching cost you 10. If you were to make 200, coast, coaching cost you 10. Okay, again, the greatest part is, is there's never a time that we expect to be paid that you didn't just get paid nine times as much. Make sense? And our, our theory, basically, I think it's a pretty strong theory, is that let's just say, for example, Jen, um, you 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 kind of you you come into real estate and you uh, let's say you make seventy thousand dollars, okay, and you're not in coaching, okay. The question is is if we're meeting every single morning and you have one on ones with Candice. By the way, uh, one on ones are fifteen minutes per week, private. Your first three transactions there with Candice. After your first three transactions there with me, uh, Stephen, somebody like you, would, you'd go immediately to me, okay. Uh, 15 minutes per week private, okay? Um, the beautiful thing is that, well, I forgot what I, where I was. What was I saying? I've got so many faces looking at me. I'm not used to having this, these many faces looking at me, I think. Was it the one-on-one? -on -one? You were talking so, about the 15-minute one-on-one and that you're with me for three transactions and then you move on to you and that somebody like Stephen, because he's already got three transactions, would start with you. Yeah, I, I remembered that part. Okay, got it. So for everyone that didn't hear, 
Uh, immediately you get access to uh, one of the two coaches for a private 15 minute session. And we're building your, your business plan. We're making sure you understand what the success metrics are. Uh, we're making sure that you're taking action steps each day with um, you know, uh, the projects that are involved, the training and the learning that's involved, et cetera. Okay. Um, oh, the, the bet is that if you're capable of making $70,000 alone, the question is, is if we're hanging out every day and you have access to all these resources and tools and your peer group, is it possible, Jen, that you could learn something that will create one more piece of business for you? And I think that's a pretty safe bet. And if it is, then coaching is a no brainer because you just paid for it. Right. So is it possible that together we can make beyond 77,000? I think that's a pretty good bet. Make sense? Okay, what questions do we have? I had one question, uh, Bill. Did you say 10% of the gross commission or net? 10% uh, of the gross commission. Gross. So let's say you have a $10,000 commission check that comes into the office. Uh, 1,000 would come off the top and the remainder would be split according to uh, the KW splits. The KW, okay, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, any details you want to chat about? Did you talk about the WhatsApp groups? Uh, briefly, if you want to add something, you can. We have uh, a couple of WhatsApp groups. We have one specifically for dual career. Um, we have one for help, right? So if you're like, hey, where do I find this? Or how do I fill this in? Or hey, this happened, what should I do? Or something of that nature. Uh, we have a whole group of people uh, that can help. Um, in our PC group, we have a number of top producers and agent leadership council members. Uh, we have Pam Sliger, who's one of our agent mentors. She's um, usually one of the first to respond. Uh, and obviously Candace and I, because uh, ultimately we want to make sure you're successful. The beautiful thing, guys, is that we have immediately, we our interests are in alignment, right? So I don't want you to join and then disappear, Ayana, because if you don't sell anything, we don't make any money either, <laughs> right? So it's our job to um, help equip you with the tools and resources necessary to uh, gain the confidence you need to go to work every day. Make sense? And like Candace was alluding to earlier, it's like when you're, I, I told this story the other day in the group, like I have a, a, a fitness trainer, right? And I go to the gym with him on Sundays. And he says, okay, we're going to do push-ups for 30 seconds. And I'm doing push-ups for 30 seconds. And then the 30 seconds goes and he's like, how about five more? Right. And sometimes our bodies, or I'm sorry, sometimes our minds can overcome our bodies. Right. So if we believe that we've got a little bit more left in the tank, then we're, we're going to have more results faster. Does that make sense? So our job is to give you clarity on what the play is so that you can go to work every day. And then if by chance, which will probably happen, I'm not speaking directly to you guys, but this happens to everybody, is you know they, they experience a, 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 something that gets in the way, right? An obstacle or a challenge or something like that. They got to get back on track, right? Failure is a learning experience, right? We're not here to say, <laughs> they didn't get the listing. Right, we're here to say, hey, how did it go? Walk me through it. Can can we offer any training moments so that you can have more confidence and have a better shot at getting the deal next time? Make sense? And I'd like to say for newer agents, especially since a lot of people aren't in the office, the more you can get into the office, the better off you are. But if you're in PC, I encourage you to be a squeaky wheel. Um, the the thing that I don't want to have happen, or that we don't happen is that you sit at home not knowing what to do frustrated or overwhelmed so that you're not moving forward the one-on-ones are specific to you and your business but if you're struggling any other time we're here to help you with that um, and I'd, I'd rather you call me and or bill and say I don't know what to do today I, I'm totally lost or I'm so overwhelmed I don't know what my next move is and let us help you with that than to sit home and just let it cause you to, to have no activity. And that's a real real threat for new agents. Yeah, so what I would, have, sorry. You have permission to reach out at any time you need us 
or preferably not at three in the morning, but you know, if it's an <laughs> that, emergency. That's going to yeah. go to voicemail if you call me at three in the morning, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Um, it's a really important point, a very important point is um, uh, you're, anytime you have questions or something, we don't want you to wait until our 15 minute session. That's really designed for accountability, right? Questions are for any time. Make sense? Um, you do still have access to uh, obviously all the office uh, curriculum and training calendar. Uh, you're also still able, of course, to reach out to our three agent mentors, uh, Kathy Ray, Susan Corley, and Pam Sliger for any, uh, you know, for any additional support. Okay. Who has a question or a comment? Anyone want to give me any feedback? Do you have any complaints? <laughs> It, I must have explained this absolutely perfectly, and all of you guys are ready to sign up, right? Actually, I have a question. Please. Okay, so, I mean, I'm totally new, as you know, and then last week, like, you know, I signed up with the KW. So, um, I don't know what's my next move. <laughs> Yep. So your next move, um, actually Ignite is generally one of the first moves that you want to make. Um, mm -hmm. Ignite is ending on Wednesday. So, and then I think it's not starting again until October. Mm -hmm. um, just so you know, the Ignite curriculum is within the KW University, you know, offering. So you can go and download that curriculum with or without coaching. Um, I would encourage you to, obviously I'd like to, you know, work with you in, in coaching. Um, if that's the direction that you go, Candace will be with you immediately to schedule the one-on-ones um, mm -hmm. and to work through the beginning of the eight-week program. Uh, again, the eight-week program that we described at the beginning is designed to make sure that you are uh, getting very clear on what you need to do and first and in what order, right? Because there's a lot of things that you're going to get exposure to right now. Okay. Yeah. But it's all not va valued the same. It's not all as important as something different, right? So we want to make sure that you're creating good habits right away mm -hmm. and that you're focused on the right stuff. The right stuff, by the way, would be very 30,000 foot here, but it's learning the market, mm -hmm. right? So you can speak intelligently with your, with your prospects uh, about the market, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, learning the softwares and all the tech in order to help you better represent your people and create efficiencies, okay? Right. You got to learn the contracts so that you know how to explain everything to your prospects and you know the nuances of how all that works, mm -hmm. right? We are going to build our database. So we mm -hmm. put all the people that we're in relationship with from our cell phones, social media, our neighbors, church friends, old colleagues, you know, any of that kind of thing. We're going to put them into our database immediately and start mm -hmm. to reach out to them and let them know what we're up to. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and more importantly, check in on them, right? Um, and then, of course, we invite you to come into the morning huddles and all the PC activities so that you can begin to, um, you know, meet some of your peers and, and uh, you know, really get some momentum at the beginning. Okay. So, oh, and the other thing, of course, that we're going to do uh, pretty quickly is helping you understand what to say, right? Because this, this business is, Stephen, you can probably attest to this, is it's how do I, what do I need to say to get the appointment? And then what do I need to say when I'm on the appointment? Okay. You can figure out those two things. You're going to kill this business. Oh. Is that about right, Stephen? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, from, say, from your pers I, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but I think I am anyway. Um, when you hear all the things you're hearing and you think back to your experience over the last three years, what are you what are you thinking is it do you think this would have been helpful or do you think it still currently could be helpful for you yeah i mean um so for, for those who um came on a little bit later so i've been in real estate for uh in real estate for three years um coaching is always great it's always great to be in coaching and um there's never a point where you are really done learning you always learn um so yeah, um, I have been, in, I mean, I started coaching, I mean, really like that same month I joined KW. So um, I've been coaching ever since. Um, it's really good to just kind of be a sponge, kind of like what you were saying, Bill, earlier. Um, you know, right now it's like, there's so many things coming to you and there's so many things that you're learning that it, it is overwhelming. There's, it's a lot of times you feel you're drinking out of a fire hydrant. 
Um, <laughs> but really just be a sponge and take a lot of notes. You'll probably buy like three notebooks in like the next like <laughs> few months here, but um, do it anyway, because, you know, there's a lot of notes and there's just a, a lot to kind of grasp, um, especially right now, um, being like these are COVID years. COVID years were way different than when I first started um, in real estate in 2018. So take a lot of notes, um, attend the trainings and always reach out to one of the coaches, of course, or myself. I mean, I'm just an agent. I'm not a coach, but you know, if there's any Thing that I could help with, uh, like contracts or just stuff like that's kind of minimal stuff. I and mean, that's fine. I'm happy to help. Um, but again, the coaches are, those are the people that are for you, more um, available. But um, yeah, just definitely, you know, um, being in coaching, being in training, Ignite's really great. I got my first transaction with Ignite uh, the first two weeks of uh, being with KW. I got a piece of business. So just do whatever they tell you to do and, you know, it should work out. Um, but yeah, just definitely do that. Be learning based. And um, yeah, that, that's all I can really say. Perfect. You, you said everything just right. Mm -hmm. What I would say is that the people, I would say there's a couple of characteristics of agents that excel and agents that um, unfortunately don't don't excel and I would say here's the very short list the first is are you learning based right are you willing to walk in the door and say hey I'm here to learn who can help me mm -hmm. right you kind of put your ego aside and say hey I'm new to this so every everybody that I speak to can teach me something right the next thing is resourcefulness right is am I willing to look something up if I don't know right um, and then the next one, of course, is just your, your grit, your work ethic, right? Are you willing to work past um, letdowns and, and failures, right? Are you willing to learn from mistakes? Are you, are you, do you get, you know, if somebody doesn't call you back or yells at you because you called a stranger or something, does that paralyze you for a month or do you laugh it off and just get right back on the phone? You see what I'm saying? Ayana, you were smiling. Is that something you've experienced before? Oh, uh not really, but I, I am smiling because currently I am in credit, which involves some level of soft collections. Mm -hmm. So I think again, it would, that skill would help me well, because um, I'm certain I am going to, as a real estate agent, you are going to encounter, you know, irate customers or people that you call up randomly. So I just, I just smile at the thought of it. <laughs> you know, one thing I, I think you've probably, you're probably going to leap, leap ahead of most of your peers is because <laughs> you're, you're building rapport with these people, right? right. <laughs> so you're, you're like the soft collector before the really rude one, right? Yes. <laughs> and so you have to, you have to build rapport. You have to get them smiling. You have to get them to want to settle up, right? right. It's not easy, right? right. So this whole business is about building rapport. Is. Right. And it's about identifying ways to figure out how somebody's brain works so that you can work with them given given their natural behavioral styles. Right. Right. So if you go into somebody's <laughs> house, for example, and you see there's plaques and trophies and certificates and all this kind of stuff around on the on the walls, guess what? It's there for a reason. Right. They want to talk about it. So right. you could either choose to talk about it or you could ignore it. And in one scenario, you'll build rapport and in the other, you won't, right? Or if somebody has, you go into their closet and every, all the clothes are perfectly arranged by, by color and the shoes are all perfectly in order, right? That is generally a pretty regimented person, right? They tend to think logically, they tend to be more numbers oriented, right? So if you don't deliver the numbers to them, they're going to, that's not good, right? They're not going to connect with you. On you got to speak their could. language, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and conversely, Bill, with your first example, when you go into someone's home and they have something that's so specific to them that you have a way to reach them and build that rapport, but then when you list the home, you have the very um, diplomatic conversation about how that particular um, room that's dedicated to their figure skating days might not be neutral enough for buyers to come in and see their personality in the home. So you have to have that conversation as well oh, yeah. of, of we need to put these things away and yeah, the neutralize that go. 
So, so it's a real, <laughs> it's an art and a science. Oh, for sure. Right. I once had a, um, a shoot a property in Kennesaw once to somebody and they had uh, this particular home. They didn't just have one deer head. They had an entire room dedicated to deer heads. And it had like a special like deer head air conditioning system. So like literally there's probably 15 of them on the wall. So you're going to see a lot of stuff. Uh, we could all write books by the time it's done with, right? Mm -hmm. Stephen, you probably have experienced enough to write a book already. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. to jump off to get on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's so nice to meet you all. I look forward to getting to know you better. And if you have any questions or you want to jump in on like the dual career tonight, just reach out to me and I'll make sure you get the link. Awesome. Um, so I wrote, thank you. thank you, Candace. I wrote my number in the, um, in the chat. It's 678-361-6083. You can call me at any time. Um, if you would like, uh, if you want to send me your email uh, by text, then I can send, uh, have Lee Fox, who's our assistant market center administrator, send you over the productivity coaching contract to review. If you see that and there's some questions, please let me know. The second you say go and sign the agreement, um, we add you to all the WhatsApps. We send you a weekly um, a PC kind of week at a glance, which kind of goes over what we talked about the previous week, what we're excited about the following week. Um, I'll send you that, which will have a ton of links for the YouTube page, the Google Drive, um, and a bunch of resources that'll help you right off the bat. Um, so if you know you're in, uh, just sit, uh, send me your email. And if you want us to take a look at the contract, send me your email and I will uh, get Lee to send that stuff to you right away. I want to be uh, super respectful of your time. If you need to hop off, I, I totally understand. Uh, is there any other questions that you guys might have uh, today? That's all for me. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Keller Williams Roswell. You guys have made a wonderful decision to be here. Uh, this has been my home for 10 and a half years and um, just so grateful for the opportunities that I've been given here and, um, you know, the opportunities that I've been able to share with, uh, you know, those that I'm in, in relationship with, including my family. So uh, congratulations. I'm excited to get to know you guys more and to get into business right away. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it.